Hi everyone. Now we will learn in Laravel how we can update data in MySQL database table with the help of HTML form. You know that in last part we populated the data in this form so that we can update student details after making some changes there. Alright, so what we need to do though for this, first we have to make a put request, then we will make router and controller function, then we will update data in MySQL table and test it and at last we will discuss some important interview questions also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, interviews and job. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So let's uh, jump to the code and first let's create a put request. So till now we created the CSRF token and the method name is post for now. But if you want to make a put request then you have to add a one more hidden field. So I'm just adding there one more. Uh, input field and the type of this will be hidden then uh, we have to put the name for this and whenever you are making any custom request maybe delete put or patch then you have to put the name with the underscore and then you have to use the method and uh, the value for this will be put like this all right okay so now you can uh, refresh your page and you will find that there is a hidden field and the old details we mentioned like name and value are also there right so the next thing is we have to make a router and controller function for this right so i'm just jumping to the controller file a uh, student controller file and there i'm creating one more function and function name for now let's say function name can be edit student and s for student should be capital right and for a moment i am returning there let's say edit student function called yeah and now what i'll do there i will just send a request and the request uh, will be the type of request class right which we already done uh, in the add method right so this request actually belongs to the HTTP request class and uh, the parameters will get the data from the form and then there will be a second parameter also which is the ID of the user all right so after this uh, after the controller function we have to go to the uh, web.php and there we have to create one route so I will just create a route and the type of will be put as you know that we are using their put method right that can be done with the post method also but, but in the one of the earlier video I told you like for update we can use put or patch method. So that's why we are using put there right and uh, now the uh, path can be let's say edit student and uh, inside this we are using their uh, let's say id and this id we have to pass uh, with the action. And I'll let you know how we can do that. But let's add their second parameter first, which is student colon colon class. And the second element of this will be the function which we created there, which is edit student. So let me add there. Yeah. And now uh, we have to use this uh, route in the action, right? So for the ID, we can use the double curly braces, then data, as you know that data has the old name, email ID and phone number, everything. So that have ID also. And uh, before that, just put a slash so that uh, it will be on the right track, right? So now let's see, are we getting the perfect, uh, you can say that action. So ID is 12 there. So let's say I'm just choosing there Peter and let me show you the ID of Peter in the student table is 2 so it should be the 2 whenever we will refresh it right uh, whenever we will go to the edit form page so let me click on the Peter and there you can see that we are getting the ID 2 perfect so if I just click on the function detail you can see that this go to the perfect route and the edit student function called so this is reached there now if you want to print the ID like what ID we are getting there dollar ID you can print and you will see we are getting the ID and if you just put, put uh, print the uh, request then you have to use request and inputs and here you can see the old details we have. 
the next thing is we have to uh, get uh, the you can say that the record details from the database so for that let's take a variable which is a student and it will get the details from student model student colon colon find and we have to pass their id so that we can have all details after that if you will just return you will find all details we have there right if you will refresh you can see that we have all details so now what we need to do there we have to update we can we need maybe we need to update the id or email id or uh, phone number right so uh, sorry either we uh, we need to update the name email id or phone number so we will just mention all of these three fields request and then mention name after that let's mention two more things which is uh, mm, we can say that request then email and last one is phone right and after that we have to call one more function which is dollar student save so let's try is it working and it should be return one i guess right or no it should it will return all the details so let me just return there it will return the all updated details so let me refresh so i want to make this uh, email id peter123 so let me just change it with the web peter and right now you can see that the id for peter is peter123 so i'm just updating it and whenever i just click on the update details you can see that we are getting there one one uh, means this data is updated and there we go right so what we can do there we can check if dollar uh, student then save and inside this we can mention uh, we don't need to mention anything we can simply uh, return and then redirect to the list page right we don't need to mention their slash also and if there is data is not updated then you can return student details are not updated right so let's go back there and uh, let me see for let's say i want to update the sam phone number and the phone number right now is double nine double nine double nine so right now you can see that the sam phone number is one two two three so if i just click on the update details it will update and redirect it to the list page and here is the new number so this is how update details will work and uh in interviews the question can be asked like which request we should use to update the data you can say that put request or patch request we can use how we can create custom method request in the uh, blade template so you can see that we can create a hidden field and the name should be underscore method and value should be put right so that's all for this part if you still have any question details you can ask me in the comment section thanks everyone for watching this video this is my paytm number for donation